So you know a weapon's great if you make two videos about it, but you know that weapon is incredible when you base a build around it. And guys, that's what we have today. I'm calling this the Zane Chaosum build. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Chaosin is an incredible new SMG to the game which is exclusive to Mayhem 6 Plus and drops from Captain Trant upon Athenus and it comes offering any element too. Now the first video I made about this weapon at the time I didn't know there was a variant that's featured today but still in that video I big this weapon up. It's a monster, we can't deny that. But not long after posting that video as it was early days I figured out there was a 2 times variant of this thing. One I've been playing around with literally since a few hours after posting that video. And damage on these can go up to or even past 6k times 2 per shot. Yes these variants do have lower magazine sizes overall and yes they do consume and eat more ammo. Now trying out these variants I fell in love with the thing. I mean to a point of the other day I uploaded their top 5 best new Mayhem 2.0 and Revenge of the Cartels event legendaries. This was on that list but it wasn't top. I'd like to change my opinion now, right now, and make that official. This in my opinion is the best weapon to arrive with said Mayhem 2.0 and the latest event. Yes I'd probably take this over the yellow cake. I mean I just think it's the best right now and it's definitely my favourite. And this 2 times variant of the Chaos and just seals the deal for me. Now taking into account the way this thing works, yes it deals incredible damage but at the same time you are reloading constantly and you are just eating through the ammo left right and centre, I decided to adjust my current build slightly to compensate for this weapon and make good of the negatives it has and that's exactly what I did. And that's what I bring you today guys, the ultimate setup for Zane and the Kaelsen. And you guys know exactly what I'm like, I like to experiment with different things, I don't like to use the mayor most, well I can't say that now, the chaos is going to be the mayor, no doubt about that, but I do like to experiment with things outside of the redistribution and so much more. And that's what today is, that's what this build is. Just like my infinite ammo yellow cake build, which if you missed you'll find that link within the video description, that is a top tier build for Zane without a shadow of a doubt, especially if you use that yellow cake with it. So this build requires you to obviously have the Hilsons and I highly suggest you going out and getting some 2 times variants, which in my opinion need to behold the Sentinel Cryo Anointment, of while Sentinel is active deal 100% additional cryo damage. I mean the other anointment of while action skill is active gain 200% damage isn't too bad, but the Sentinel Cryo fits better within this build. And while you are farming these Chaosons people get as many different elements as you can. Now the 2 times variants of the Chaosons can come with a mag size of up to 35 or probably a little bit more. But every one I have had is always burst or semi auto. Now I know they do drop with up to a 35 in the mag and being full auto but they are super rare. The 2 I have that are this variant were sent to me by my pal. And within this build guys you want those full auto variants otherwise you're going to be spamming that trigger dead in your finger. The 4 I have right now in my build, I have a Cryo Radiation, Incendiary and Shock. Now the Cryo one will be switched out for a Corrosive one when I do get that because of the anointment offering Cryo damage on all of these variants anyway. Like I said this is the anointment you want. So the Cryo one really isn't needed because we get that to come through with the anointment. So as soon as I do get a corrosive version that will be traded in for my Cryo Chaosin and also my Shock variant too does not have the Sentinel Cryo anointment on it although it has a decent anointment on it as you will agree when I do get a Shock version with the Sentinel Cryo anointment that will be substituted for this one right here. And it just means that on the go while I'm playing I can switch between all of these weapons changing up my actual element and that elemental output damage and just make it super super efficient for this build. And this is the end goal you want to get to people. This is what you want. You want a Chaosin with every element besides Cryo because Cryo will come into play with the uh, the Sentinel Anointment and it just means no matter the enemy you're facing up against, no matter the health bar, no matter the armor, no matter the shield they are using, you will have something within your inventory to take that down. And like I said that is the end goal for you people. That was the end goal for me before I bring you guys this build. So yes, weapons we use and the Chaosans only. So on to the shield. Shield I use here is the old god Cryo version. Now prefixes don't really matter, I mean obviously if you can get ones that help with the build. Vagabond on the old god is perfect for Zane, but just make sure it's a Cryo version. As this one offers obviously a 20% damage bonus while using Cryo, 
And this works perfect with the Sentinel anointments and the weapons I suggest you get in. And that's why it makes sense that you do aim to get those Sentinel Cryo Chaosins. I mean, it ain't super important. The 200% wall action skill active are still good and they'll still be great for this build. But for me, if you can land the Sentinel Cryo anointments and the Chaosins, that's even better. So the Cryo Old God, in my opinion, is the best one to go for. And the Old God is a world drop upon Xylargos. Class mod we are using is the Seeing Dead. On my version, I did aim for extra mag space, but I haven't got one which pairs up with SMG and weapon damage. But that's a trio you definitely want to look out for. SMG damage, weapon or dial weapon damage, and magazine size increase. Seeing Dead is a world drop upon the handsome jackpot. Now to sort the issue of the amount of ammo you will be using, I decided to implement a bit of my Zane infinite ammo build, but with a slight twist. So the grenade we are using is the fish slap. This with the special ability of fish slaps grenade is melee damage. This is the only thing on this grenade which is important. So grab any variant you can, which drops from Villa Ultraviolet from fish slap or Tyrone Smullins. If you can land one with jumping or bouncy on it as a prefix, those would be perfect, but they ain't necessary. And the artifact we need is any version of the cut purse. I highly suggest that you're getting one with magazine size on for sure. Anything else you can get on which relates to this build is a bonus. Now the reason we use this artifact is because dealing melee damage replenishes ammo. That fish slap grenade deals melee damage. So every grenade that hits an enemy regens ammo for you. And it works wonders with this build, even though people... We ourselves won't be actually throwing any grenades. We will be protected by two action skills. And we'll get onto that in a quick second. Now the skill tree build is just my Winter Soldier 2.0 build. Which I've already posted a video on where I'll go into full details of each perk and why they are used. You'll find that video linked within the video description. I ain't going to go over it all right now because I don't think it's necessary. I will show you the build though, so don't worry about that. So the build and the important aspects of it are drawn delivery, as this will almost always be active due to the Sentinel almost always being active. And because this drops a grenade literally every 15 seconds, this is enough to regen that ammo for you, so you don't actually drop while in my testing below 1500 or around that number while in the slot shaft, which is incredible. Another backup perk here is duct tape mod. Only putting two points into this though on the build, as we don't really need it to come into play that often as drone delivery is perfect. But it does help a lot for sure. But two is all you will need here. Now I'll give you 10 seconds if you do want to pause the video and take screenshots or look at the free trees and what's selected. Or like I said if you want a full guide on the build that can be found linked within the video description. So with this build people you have enough defense, but at the same time you have an incredible source for damage output from just the build alone. Then add onto it the Chaosen with the unlimited ammo and you are left with what in my opinion is one of the best Zane builds in the game right now for Mayhem 10. I mean you guys can see in the background now Mayhem 10, Slaughter Shafts, Chaosens only. With this build just absolutely destroying everything and if you keep an eye on your ammo count you'll see it doesn't drop below that 1500 mark number which is just incredible considering how fast this thing fires, how much ammo the two times variants do swallow and how quick that actual ammo does drop. So yeah I wanted to make sure I fully tested the build and that's why I bring you gameplay which you'll see in the background now. Proving to you guys that this build works incredibly. Now I can't stop using this build with other weapons, I mean I kind of tried this with my unlimited ammo zane build, but that setup was more so for using weapons like the yellow cake, where the ammo on the thing empties just way too quick. So trying to use the yellow cake in replacement of the KO zane within this build just won't work anywhere near as efficient as you'd want it to. But I mean I can't stop you using this setup with any other weapon, in fact if that's the route you decide to take, let me know what weapon you use and how the build is. But yeah guys this build is super super powerful. I will no doubt help anybody out right now who's struggling with Mayhem 10. This definitely solves that problem. Or if you're a fan of the Chaosin and you love using it but it is letting you down because of how much ammo it swallows, this resolves that. If you're planning on getting Chaosins as you've seen many many content creators uh, post videos about them because they have because the weapon is incredible, so you're planning to farm for them and once you get them you're looking for a build, this build is perfect for that guys, especially if you play on Zane, obviously. 
But yeah guys, this then chaos and build won't let you down. I'm pretty sure you will indeed love it. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new and here want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Ha <laughs>